Folks, there is something in the air. Well, I can't smell it because of this mask. But I tell you, it's a festive joy with just a hint of firecrackers. It's one of my favorite times of the year again, Chinese New Year. And during this season, as far as I can remember, significant events have taken place in my life. Two years ago, I rode the roller coaster experience. That was my first trip traveling around China at the same time that COVID first made waves here. Last year was my first time going off the beaten path in China, visiting a bunch to the small towns and cities that inspired my search to capture all of the most beautiful ancient towns in this country. But I think Chinese New Year 2022 is going to be even better. I've asked a lot of people in this country, Zai Zhongguo, Yu Zui Shi Huan, the Difang Zai Nari, and one of the most popular answers that I kept hearing was Yunnan, the province in the southwesternmost corner of China, with a rich culture, beautiful natural scenery, and of course, some of the country's most famous ancient towns. So folks, buckle up your seatbelts, because this is the 2022 Yunnan tour. This morning, I ain't waking you up with any cup of coffee. I'm waking you up with the smell of incense in the air, the clanking and fluttering of meat chopping, and the intermingled sounds of loudspeakers and locals bargaining for goods. Welcome to Shizhou Ancient Town. Shizhou is located about 20 kilometers north of Dali Ancient City, snuggled in between the Sangshan Mountains and Erhai Lake. My first stop is the local morning market. It's a little bit of a look into the past because long ago, this town was a stop on the Team Horse Road, also known as the Southwestern Silk Road. So for ages, this town has maintained close trade with regions around and even outside of China. But that's just one of many aspects that make Shizhou a one-of-a-kind place. While walking around this town, this friendly uncle said hello to me and informed me more about the significance of Shizhou. <laughs> As Uncle pointed to, Shizhou is considered a cradle of Dali culture for many reasons. This is a truly authentic place to experience the unique Bai culture. It's a hub for the rich and educated. It's also a hub for craftsmen, and all kinds of traditional Bai artistry can be found here. Now, as some Americans I know might say, the most important aspect of civilization is coffee. But don't worry, Shijo has that too. I ain't much of a coffee guy though, so I opted for another specialty. I stopped at this cute looking cafe overlooking the field, and you won't believe what I'm drinking. It's a Shijo specialty that literally translates to sour papaya tea. I've never drank in sour tea before, and it is really sour. But you know what they say? Ru xiang sui su. After pondering life for a few hours staring across the fields, I had the pleasure of interviewing the owner of the cafe. But actually, he's not from anywhere near Shijo. I'm it didn't take long exploring the streets of Shizhou until I understood the sense of comfort the coffee owner described. Turn down a few side streets, you can now convince me that I am living in any century. These walls along the streets are made of clay, which gives it this restful, rustic, and rural feeling to it. 
quick side note if you're interested in more of china's ancient towns and hidden gems make sure to, to subscribe to this channel because i'm on a mission to explore all of china's most beautiful ancient towns before leaving i just had to experience one more shizhou delicacy the one known as baba a delicious pastry that comes in either sweet or salty form. I ordered the sweet one. What makes it delicious was that the texture of the bread was soft and the brown sugar wasn't overpowering. As the famous writer Lao Xia said, Shijo ancient town is a miracle. Such a town between mountains and rivers is a paradise. This cradle of Bai culture has an undeniable authentic charm to it. It's both a place where locals are proud to be from and a place outsiders fall in love with. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.